In January of 2022, I made the big leap of move from London, England to Saskatchewan in Canada. In this video, I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why you should not consider moving to Saskatchewan in 2023. So without further ado, let's grab a Tim's and jump straight into the video. Okay, so before I get into the reasons of why you should not move to Saskatchewan, I just want to make sure that you take everything that I'm saying with a pinch of salt because these are just my opinions and as much as there's things where maybe I don't like about Saskatchewan, I'm still here, I love being here, I love this province and I truly think this is a great place to be. So make sure you do your own research and like everything there's benefits and there are things that aren't so great too. And that is the case wherever you go. So thinking about number one, it can be a boring place to live depending on where you are. Now, I wanna make really clear here that I'm not thinking about the big cities like Saskatoon, Regina, Mooshaw. I'm thinking about if you're in a smaller town within Saskatchewan or if you live in a small town within Saskatchewan and you have to travel to those bigger centers like Saskatoon and Regina, because there is a lot of sparse space here. And what I mean by that is, is there's a lot of land which kind of just feels like nothing. For example, if I'm driving from Saskatoon to somewhere like North Battleford or Meadow Lake, then all I really see is a few small towns which might have a subway, might have a gas station, but that is pretty much it. But you can guarantee for most of that journey, all I'm gonna see is flat prairie land, depending on where you are. Now, this of course has its perks, but where it isn't so great, especially in winter, if you're driving for hours and hours and hours and something happens, then you're gonna be a while until you get to either a small town or somewhere where you might feel like there is some kind of civilization. And for some people, this might be a benefit, but for me coming from the UK, this is something I found quite difficult and especially where I lived, I would only have to drive about five minutes and I'm in another town. So we didn't really have too much of space that felt like nothing. Okay, so number two is the lack of public transportation across the province of Saskatchewan. And this is something which, unless you are in those bigger cities like Saskatoon, Regina, Mooshaw, any of those bigger cities, you're probably not gonna get a decent public transportation. Take it from where I am, for example. If I wanted to get a bus from Saskatoon, well, I think maybe there's like one a week or maybe a little bit more, but it's pretty inconsistent. And I remember when I came here as a tourist and my partner was away and I said, okay, I'm gonna go for a day into Saskatoon. I'm gonna just jump on a bus. And my partner was like, well, good luck with that because there are no buses. And that is something where for me, as somebody who came from Europe where public transportation is pretty good, I found this really difficult. And unless you have a car, this can make traveling around the province really difficult. So it is something to really consider if you are gonna move Outside those bigger cities, one thing you will need to really factor in is are you gonna drive or are you gonna have access to a vehicle or public transportation? Because otherwise you could get a taxi, but holy frick, that is gonna be expensive. So number three is the crime rate. Saskatchewan has some of the highest crime rates in all of Canada. In fact, two of the cities, Prince Albert and North Battleford, repeatedly come up as some of the highest cities within Canada in terms of crime rates. And this is something you do need to really consider where you're moving to the province. One thing I will say from my own experience is that it isn't actually that bad though. And the reason why it seems to get a higher bad rep is because of that lower population, because a lot of the statistics are by per capita. The reason why I say this is 
I live in an area where there is typically high crime. However, I still feel safer in Saskatchewan than what I did in some parts of London. This is because although the crime rate is technically higher, there's less people and at least where I live, most of the crime is things like break-ins, whereas where I was in London, it was lots of murders and things like that. So in my own experience, it's actually been fairly positive and I haven't noticed the high crime rate. But that's not to say when you're moving here, you really should do your research in the particular area you're living in so you can see how safe it is. And something I would recommend if you're able to come and visit the place before you move there. So that way you can make your own judgment before deciding to move here. Okay, so that leads me on to number four, which is the harsh winter conditions. Now, Saskatchewan's winter is rough. When I first moved here it was minus 38 degrees outside and I'll be completely honest here I wanted to turn back around and fly straight back to the UK because I have never experienced such cold in my life. With that said it is something you do get used to however if you're like me and you've never experienced really even minus temperature this can be a huge adjustment and for lots of people this will be one of the first times you're seeing snow as well and in Saskatchewan you have snow for around six months of the year that means almost half the year is going to have snow and if you don't like snow, that is something where you're either gonna have to get used to or you may have to consider moving somewhere else. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be completely honest, I hate snow so much and every day there isn't snow, for me, it's a great day. However, being in Saskatchewan is something where I've just dealt with and despite how much I hate snow, to be honest, it hasn't put me off living here, but I know for some people it would. So I would recommend if you're considering moving to Saskatchewan, try and come in a winter, even if it's just for a couple of days, just so you can see what it is actually like for the people living here. So that leads me on to number five, which is very limited international food options. Again, coming from a city like London, which is so culturally diverse, both in terms of culture and especially food. This is something I found really difficult when I first moved here. Now, this is not necessarily going to be the case if you're in Saskatoon or Regina, but if you're in a smaller town or even a smaller city in Saskatchewan, you will notice there is not many options in terms of cuisine. I think about where I live, there's a couple of East Indian restaurants and I have to say they're pretty good. There's a few Chinese restaurants, there's one Vietnamese restaurant, but lots of the food is going to be things like burgers and fries and your classic Canadian food, as I would say, and I guess pizza too. But you don't get as much. So for example, where I live in London, we would have Turkish restaurants, we would have Lebanese restaurants, we would have Jamaican restaurants. There are just so many different options. And that is something I truly loved and I love trying new things. And I think I've pretty much been to every restaurant where I'm living in Saskatchewan. Not to say they're not good, I love them. I just wish there was a few more places to go. Okay, so that leads me on to number six, which is how expensive airlines are in Canada, which makes it pretty hard if you want to go out of Saskatchewan for a couple of days. Let's say, for example, I wanted to go to Toronto or somewhere like Vancouver. That's going to set me back a minimum of $300, which is just insane. From London, I could fly to places like Copenhagen, Oslo, for about 30 Canadian dollars with Ryanair. And don't get me wrong, Ryanair is a terrible airline in terms of customer service. However, for the cost you pay, I don't really care. And I just wish Canada had more options for that. You do have things like Swoop and Flair, and I get there are those companies trying to get into the market, 
but they're still no way near the same level. And in Saskatchewan, you have even less options. So I find in most cases, I either have to fly WestJet or Air Canada, which are just not the cheapest airlines to use. Um, they're fine, don't get me wrong, but do I want to be spending $1,000 to go to Vancouver when I could be spending $1,000 and go somewhere way further afield, like either the US, Mexico, or somewhere even further? And I just think this is something where I just do not like about Canada and Saskatchewan. And it's something where I don't think I'm gonna get used to because, well, I'm used to paying less. And if you like paying less, you might as well keep doing that. So hopefully this is something that will change. I don't think it will, but hey ho, it is what it is. But flights here are freaking expensive, especially from Saskatoon and Regina. And finally, number seven, limited recreational activities. And again, this is more gonna be the case if you're in a smaller town in Saskatchewan. Something I found is there just isn't as much to do. And again, that's because the lower population and there just isn't as many things as you would be able to do in a bigger hub. So for example, something a lot of Canadian towns have is ice hockey and they will often have an ice rink. Now, this is great if you like ice hockey, I like ice hockey, but I suck at skating. So although I enjoy watching games, I am absolutely atrocious at doing it, which is something I find difficult. I think about in my hometown, we have things like multiple cinemas to go to. We had lots of restaurants. We had lots of gyms and things like that where there just isn't that in the place that I'm living in, which is a real shame but again it is something you gradually adjust to again something i would recommend is having a visit at the city or at the town before you move there so you can see what is available something i will say though is i do find you just gradually adjust to this over time and for me i spend more time in my house or now it's the summer i spend lots of time going out for walks and going out to the lakes which on the flip side is something I could never do when I was living in the UK, or I could do it, but it just wasn't as nice as what it is doing it in Saskatchewan. So I guess this is a give or take depending on where you are. Again, if you're in a bigger city, there's naturally gonna be more things to do. So there we have it. There were just seven quick things as to why you should maybe not consider moving to Saskatchewan. Now again, I want to really stress how much I love this province and as much as I'm giving you things that maybe you shouldn't move here, take it with a pinch of salt. Don't just take my word for it. And I also have a video about why you should move to Saskatchewan. So I would highly recommend that. And if you're unsure, feel free to reach out, ask me a question, because there are some wonderful things about this province too. So if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it. Give the video a thumbs up. Oh, that really is appreciated. But most importantly, I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments down below. Let me know where you're from, if you move into Saskatchewan, if you live here already. And it will be great just to have a chat with you. And if you want to see more videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. So my name is Jack. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now.